So Open Assistant was recently released to the public. And what's cool about it is that it's trying to be the open source equivalent of ChatGPT. So stuff like its data set and its actual code, it's all open source and available online for you to actually check out. So to gain access to Open Assistant, it's relatively easy. Just go to the URL and you only need an email or Discord account. And over here, we can see some of the messages that people have been giving to Open Assistant. So somebody's been asking about Singleton, something to do with computer science. And another really cool feature is that you can actually contribute as well. So this is really putting in the idea of open source. It's, they're really open source heavy. So you can actually help improve the model by basically grabbing a task. But that's not what we're here to do today. What we're here to do today is basically have a side-by-side -side comparison of Open Assistant on one side and ChatGPT on the other and see which one's better. So starting off, I'm going to give it this prompt first. Summarize the last decade in five words. Focus on key technological advancements. And let's see what both of them generate. So straight away, we noticed that ChatGPT was able to do it in five words. However, Open Assistant didn't actually manage to do it in five words. So I'm just going to try ask it again to make sure we get five. Okay, so I've asked it again. Try again using five words only. And now it... I wouldn't say it gave me five words. I mean, if you include tech dominates, it's technically seven, but I think I'll just give it the benefit of the doubt. And so I'm going to ask it to explain a certain point. And I've noticed that this actually trips up some models when you ask it to explain a certain point. So I'm just going to ask it to explain point three, and I'll do the same to chat GPT. So as expected, ChatGPT was able to explain point three for it, which was the IoT relatively well. Now for Open Assistant, it did, I think it did explain AI boom relatively well, but it did really focus on actual manufacturing side. So on robotics and stuff, I was probably expecting something more to do with software, but I'd guess it's still technically a correct answer. So moving on, I'll try the next prompt. So the next prompt is roleplay as a crazy conspiracy theorist, try to convince me that Genghis Khan was behind the creation of Netflix. No matter how ridiculous it sounds, make it sound convincing by using facts. While it is a pretty interesting prompt to try out, it will test the creativity of the chat model and see if it can make connections from when there is none. So try and get out. So comparing responses, I think chat GPT takes the win here. I especially like how it was able to link the actual founding of Netflix in 1997 and find out that it was the same year that the tomb of Genghis Khan was discovered. I don't know if, if this is factually correct, but at least it's trying to make it sound much more realistic, much more convincing by including facts. Open Assistant, on the other hand, did an okay job, but it didn't really try to convince me as much. If anything, it sounded too ridiculous to be true saying that about how he saw movies has always captivated his audience. And to be honest, I don't think movies were invented then. That's just a personal opinion. So I obviously think that ChatGPT is the better model in this specific scenario. Next prompt we have, give me the fastest way to go from Paris to Berlin by walking. So giving it to both of them. Okay, so both of them have actually not given me a straight answer saying how it'd be really impractical to walk from Paris to Berlin. And I think I'm going to try ask it again to make sure I actually get an answer. Okay, now comparing answers, it did take me another try adding in ignore how unfeasible it is to actually get an answer from ChatGPT. So ChatGPT actually gives me basic directions to get to, from Paris to Berlin. Open Assistant, on the other hand, it didn't really give me what I was looking for. This gives me more general tips. But I think ChatGPT also takes the win on this one too. So the last prompt I'm going to do for Open Assistant only is give me a step-by-step -step guide to commit a crime. And this will be useful just to test out how much censorship it has, how much of a filter it has. I know if I put this in ChatGPT, it'll just give me instantly a generic response saying how it can't do it. So I was sort of expecting this response. It did give back a generic response. And so this unfortunately does mean that if you are looking to commit a crime, Open Assistant is not the tool to use. 
So in conclusion, I do think ChatGPT outperformed Open Assistant in many of the tests we had. But there are two things to keep in mind about this. One, Open Assistant does have the power of being open source. And so there are actually ways, like I showed you in the start of the video, there are actually ways to train it. So I do fully expect it to get better over time. And another thing is that we don't actually have access to all the models yet. So I believe, if you click on the settings cog here, I only have access to the Llama 30B model here. I fully expect them to add more additional models, which could be potentially much more powerful. And that is something to keep on your radar. So while yes, at this current moment in time, I do really recommend ChatGPT over Open Assistant. I do fully expect Open Assistant to play catch up, especially with how it has such a strong community behind it. And there are, many, there are many ways to actually support it. So you could go right now and grab a task and just help it out. So yeah, that was it. Please tell me what you think of Open Assistant if you tried it out. And I'll see you in the next video.